Hello Psychics and welcome to episode 79 of Learn Tarot with me for free. Today we're doing the Queen of Pentacles and the Minor Arcana, a card of strength and power. You can use any deck of cards for this but we're using the Gilded Tarot and the Arcanum Tarot to really get our teeth into the cards and see what our intuition tells us and we call on the angels. So we call on Archangel Raziel, the Psychic Angel, to open our hearts and minds to our gifts and insights. We call on Archangel Uriel to illuminate our mind and Archangel Gabriel to help us to communicate clearly to the client and put it all together in a beautiful way. So the Queen of Pentacles then, another one of my favourite cards because it means power, strength, independence and really making a way in the world for yourself by doing you. So I'm going to show you the cards and show you the differences. I would love to know what you think in the comments section. So the Queen of Pentacles then in the Gilded Tarot, we see a woman there, very strong, very powerful. She's dressed in beautiful green robes which signify healing as well. So we know that she's been through struggles on this journey, but she's now standing strong. She's got where she needs to be from pain and suffering and she's learned lessons along the way. It's taught her how to handle money. It's taught her how to be strong and to have independence and to really stand up for what she believes in. She's confident within herself because we've got the peacock there. So she's confident. She's holding a pentacle, which shows that she's a leader. She's holding the money. She looks after finances. She doesn't need to rely on anybody else because she's her own support system. And we've got the pillar there as well showing that she's supported from heaven and she's stable in life. She's got where she needs to be. So this person doesn't need anyone. They don't need to rely on anybody because they've learned to rely on themselves, to stand in their wisdom, their power. And because of that, great benefits and rewards have been showing up and they are in strength and independence energy. I absolutely love it when this card comes out because it shows strength, especially if you're reading for a lady because it shows that she's standing on her own two feet. And if you get this for a male that you're reading for, it could really symbolize the person in his life that's powerful, you know, his partner, wife, or maybe even a mother figure, or it could show the feminine side of himself that's becoming stronger. So a real card of power with the Queen of Pentacles, financial security, standing your ground, but it's also a sign that you've built that from nothing, that you've been hurt on this journey, you've been through pain and suffering, but you are now standing in your power. And the Queen of Pentacles in the Arcanum, it shows she's holding the, you know, the gold pentacle there, whereas it's green and gold in this one. It's more like a shield. So it's showing that, you know, she's been through heartbreak. She's been through loss. She's been through pain. And now she's guarding her pentacle. She's holding it close to her heart because she knows that she creates this reality. She creates miracles. She creates the abundance. And I'm using she as just the way I'm describing the card. But obviously it's for whoever you're reading for and however you're interpreting this card. So it could be a male or it could be somebody connected with that male. I tend to find that if I'm reading for a guy and this card comes up, it does signify their special person in their life. You know, whether it is a partner or even a mother, you know, somebody who looks after them, somebody who's holding the money, somebody who's independent and strong. You know, somebody who's got it going on and it's showing that this person, you know, they've been through struggles and strife and they are coming out the other side. There's still some confusion energy because there's darkness in this card and it's showing that, you know, she's more clear now than she's ever been, but she's still sorting things out. So she's preparing herself as well for what's to come and she's not taking any prisoners. We've got the bunny there as well which is showing she's not alone on this journey, she's been helped from above, she's got support, she's also got a gentle side, so it's showing the gentle side of this person, even though she's strong and powerful, they're showing me Princess Diana connected with this card, obviously Princess Diana was dynamic, she was strong and powerful, you know, she was a natural leader. She helped others because she got the kind-hearted nature within her as well 
tell us the, the power. You know, she she hid well all the pain and suffering she'd been through on her journey. And, you know, she hid it well and turned it and moulded it into something beautiful. And that's really the message of the Queen of Pentacles, that this person is strong and powerful, but she's been through struggles and strain. She's standing her ground now. She's looking after herself. She's got it going on. And the best thing about this card is, you know, she doesn't need to rely on anybody because she's now really trusting in herself. She's having confidence in herself and her journey. She's talking to angels. She's speaking to the universe. She's creating and she's using magic in her life to bring great blessings in. So it's a card of great blessings, security and strength. I hope you've enjoyed this and we'll be back tomorrow with the King of Pentacles. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.